I didn't know you put that there. I saw you put it. Dorkening and all affiliated shows are not intended for anyone under the age of 18. The following may contain discussions or scenes that have adult situations, graphic violence, nudity, strong sexual content, and graphic language. This show is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Father Evil starts his day. He gets a little deadly. 
Deadly Grounds coffee has the richest, smoothest flavor you'll find anywhere. It's sinfully delicious. Once you go deadly, you never go back. Order yours at getdeadly.com. Coffee's so good, <coughs> it's scary. And here we are, and again, for another awesome episode of Full Token With. And as always, we have uh, Ben, and you have a friend with you. Yeah, see him? Oh, you meant this one. <laughs> I mean that one. <laughs> yes, we have uh, the amazing Bill Diamond as a special co-host tonight with us. Awesome. How's it going, Ben? Uh, Bill? <laughs> oh, good. I <laughs> have Jeffrey. Oh, I was way too close to the camera. Holy shit! You're before the show. Well, I left all the gummies back at the hotels, but I did find a bottle of vodka. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh, good. That's good. And I know and where Bill hides the whiskey. Yep. And our special guest. So, Jeff, who's our special guest? Well, nobody can see him because he's a voice actor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so he likes to stay hidden behind a the curtain there. Oh, there's his face. I don't think he looks that young anymore, though. Do you? Is this an old Dude. picture? No, that... Fuck. That, that picture is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that picture is that's two years old that's a two-year-old picture i still Jeez. look like that you were that way at two no but i did no i i think i grew my first beard when i was about 15 and a half where'd you grow Where'd that you grow on my face it oh, was a okay. facial I yeah was yeah just checking no no, no, no. That was in a that was at a time that was at a time in America where if you had enough facial hair, you could pretty much buy a beer anywhere. That was the seventies. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah so pretty to, much yeah, well yeah. and then I lived in I grew up in St. Louis and so the drinking age was twenty one. But the but the drinking age in Illinois, which is right across the river, was eighteen. So St. Louis, you know, the people that own their stores there were like, these kids are just going over the river to sell it to them. <laughs> is that what the, is that yeah, they were losing money? The came from? Yes. They were, lo yeah, they were losing money. I think that's what it was. <laughs> so, you know, whoever had a beard bought all the beer and we went somewhere. You just had to go over the river. No, we didn't. No, no, no. What I mean is that they knew that if they didn't, if they didn't take care of us, we were going to go over the river and spend our money there and probably come back. Okay, that sounds like Massachusetts and New Hampshire. <clears throat> okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Same kind much. of thing. People Same go thing. to New Hampshire to buy the liquor. So we're talking 1975, 76. Yeah, we've had that problem in New York. You get a beer 16. in 75. I was still sucking on my mom's tit. You were. You you... Right now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seventy-five. I was learning what a boob was. You were learning. What a boob oh, was. Were, you were learning. Yes. Ah. Well, I was twelve. Well, you, <laughs> you're a lot older than that. I think you're still learning. <laughs> oh, I try and learn about those things every day. I wanted to learn. We were building some. <laughs> right. What were you building? Boobs. Uh, Boobs. We're, we're making boobs, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you mean oh, down in the shop? Down in the shop, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Boy, right. you really hit that vodka, didn't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, this might be another night of uh blocking the voice. <laughs> Some voiceover. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Mark and I can voice over then. <laughs> well, well, we'll, well go ahead. Do you just want me to move my lips? Just move your lips. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Now, so, see, Mark, but Mark can't see us. So, Jeffrey, you, you didn't really do your job. You didn't explain yeah. who this awesome person is. Yes, I Why did. I'm not Jeff. Well, there's you, a picture of me. I saw the picture. 
And I can't got, Jeff. He's not over here. <laughs> well, I mean, the, you know, the there's the a Jeff. picture there. <laughs> All right. There's a big, there's a this big ugly looking thing with these big ears. Oh, I'm sorry, Mark. No, next that's to me. The, but the little guys <laughs> are yeah. The, who are the, the little cute, guys? The cute ones are <laughs> yum yums and. <laughs> So, I don't know who all you've got Jeff, out there. What are you doing there? Are you going to tell I, everybody yeah. who he is, or do I, I have did. to do the job? All right, mute Jeff, Bill. Okay. Mute Jeff. <laughs> Bill, please. voiceover extraordinaire who who has been in the business for many, many, many years. At least almost forty. I'm getting close to forty, 40 years. Almost forty years wow. has done characters for Lucasfilms and all different types of platforms, video games, commercials, TV, movies, Star Wars, Gremlins, and countless characters. So you see a couple of them, one's behind me. And Daffy's boy, behind you. That's Daffy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> and so it's a problem. Oh, we were going to talk about that. So Mark has been doing characters for almost four years. He's just finished doing tracks for us for an upcoming Christmas special, which he did the narration for. And yeah. he's also going to be doing some special tracks in an unmentionable film. Oh, I think indoors. Anyway. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Unmentionable. Yeah. Well, well I guess because I don't want to mention it. I've been here all day with <laughs> you. Don't want to mention it. <laughs> well, then don't mention <laughs> it. <laughs> yes, uh, Mark yeah, has, don't mention uh, it. Mark has agreed to send Bill some tracks of uh, some voiceovers for a zombie world for for mm -hmm. our our upcoming issues of. Uh, that's right. Well, that's and right. I'm going to send Mark you some has zombies. Done Vincent Price and Boris Karloff for me. Uh, he also did. Uh, some narrations for a whole bunch of uh, our films, but he's a great friend, and I wish he was here. And he is here, but I don't get to see him, so I had to talk to Daffy. Well, and, but that's okay. Daffy's. Will you let the man talk? Shut up. <laughs> oh no, 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 oh, no! Hey, Jeff, this is the uh, this is the Bill and Mark show. So why don't we go? Okay. We can go to makeup now, I guess. <laughs> uh, I, well, I, Bill. I was just I was just going to say real quick, if you brought Mark on for zombies, he does also have experience with zombies in Day of the Dead. That's right. That's yeah, right. I was the I was a lot of the zombie voices in Romero's Day of the Dead. Very good. And that was, a, that was that was that was that was a fun one. That uh, you want to know how that happened? Yes, I do. I don't want to talk to the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah. I had done Return of the Jedi, Salacious Crumb, and. And some Ewok stuff. And then um, I had done, then I did Gremlins. And I was at a friend's house that was having a party. I had moved back to Los Angeles. And I was at a friend's. And he, he said, hey, I want you to meet a sound guy. Maybe you guys could work together. So I m met this guy, Patrick. And he said, um, we were talking. And he said, hey, I'm working on this movie right now. And he's like, you know, I know what you've done and you probably won't, we probably can't afford you is what he said. Little did he know. I mean, come on, man. I'm just, I'm still young. And, you know, I was like, well, what is it? And he said, well, it's kind of a B movie. Probably won't do anything. This is honestly what he said. It probably won't go anywhere, but. It's a movie called Day of the Dead. It's a zombie movie, and I'm doing it with George Romero. And I said, well, and he said he needed zombie voices. And I said, oh, I could work on that. That I'm sure I could come up with something. And I, I just, he said, I, I said, how, what are you, what are you thinking? And he said, um, well, I'll probably need you in, to do some ADR for about four hours to picture. And, um. Uh, this was in 84, 85, I guess. And I, whenever that movie was, and, and I, I said, uh, well, how much? And he said, um, I could probably get you a thousand dollars. And I said, okay. Um, all right. And pizza. <laughs> and, and he said, you want pizza? And I said, 
yeah, I'll tell you what, a thousand dollars and all the pizza I can eat, and I'm there. So he said, Really? I, yeah. Okay. So then he called me and booked it, and we went. So then when we did the session, a lot of the people that are in the movie were there because they were going to be redoing their lines and doing their things. And of course, George Romero was there. And, um, and, uh, when it was lunchtime, they brought in a dolly stacked with pizzas. I mean, they must've had 40 pizzas and uh, they come rolling it in and they're like, it's lunchtime. They came rolling it in and we started eating. And anybody that was in that session, I hope that they will remember they said, Patrick said, hey, everybody, I want you to know part of Mark's deal was all the pizza he could eat. So we figured we'd get all the pizza everybody could eat. So thank Mark for all the pizza. And that, that was the best part of the session. But that, it was, it was uh, we, we ate a lot of pizza. And of course, they had you got to have beer with pizza. So we had beer and pizza and it, it was, was a party. The, was, was the beer included too? Yeah, the beer was included. Oh, see, that was a bonus then. That was a bonus. I didn't even ask for the beer. Well, it wasn't I even a sign-on bonus. That was just a bonus. That just I showed up. From experience being with Mark many late nights, he does the great zombie voice, especially after pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was a swallower, right? <laughs> yeah, that was that was eating pizza and then drinking a beer and uh, showing my thanks. So that was that was a swallower, not a spitter. And swallower. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just remember, it was. All I don't know. I don't know. Do zombies swallow? Do, no, no, we, no, I don't know. I, all I have to say is, you, you, you really want your career to go downhill, Mark? Fly out here, hang out with us, and work with these two guys. Well, it seems to me. <laughs> oh no! I mean, it seems to me I can do that from right here. We're doing you, it. You can. You can. Yeah. Yeah. You and I are going to retire, aren't we? Uh, yeah, we plan. Yeah, well, it ain't going to be off this film. That's, <laughs> That's true. <laughs> And and I started drinking heavier, and heavier, and heavier. <laughs> yes, and heavier. Well, we all are these days. No, I'm not. Well, <laughs> I, I slim down my routine every time these two come. Why you need your so wits about so you? needless so so then let me so needless to say that movie ended up being pretty big, and right. they definitely got I got my pizzas worth and they got their money's worth and. It ended up doing go. pretty well. Yeah. See what you get with delivery. That's right. That's right. With the right delivery, you get a lot of pizza. I <laughs> get a lot of pizza. <laughs> a lot of pizza. I wish it was only costing us pizza. So, well, it's I, costing us pizza too. Since <laughs> we're into stories, and I would rather hear you than those two, tell <laughs> us how Salacious got his name. I always love this story. We've done this at many cons together. So, well, so I've been told um, that, um, gosh, Bill, I can't remember. I mean, I Tim need, Rose is the puppeteer that told me, but I can't remember who said it now. Who okay, you need it? flashcards? Kind of. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, I need a script. I, I mean, you can see us. Hey, I don't gummy. Know. Maybe he needs a gummy. Give me my phone here. You know? <laughs> need a gummy, Mark? Well, no, I've got something good. I'm oh, okay. good. All right, so you're good over there. All right. <clears throat> I'm good. <clears throat> You might hear me coughing in a minute, but um, <laughs> the way that Salacious Crumb they couldn't come up with a name is what I'm was told, and and um, they couldn't they were trying to come up with a name, and the guys, you know, every day after shooting, they would go out and have some drinks, and and um, they were leaving. They were trying to come up with a name while they were drinking, and that night, and they and they were like, oh, what's it gonna be? But uh, and they didn't come up with anything. So as they were getting ready, no, as they walked out of the bar or a pub, because they were in England, as they walked out of the pub, um, one of the guys said, wait a minute, I need to tie my shoelaces. His shoelace had come undone and he was drinking my shoelaces. And there, and the one guy said, what? And he said, my shoelaces. And the guy said, no salacious how about we name the puppet salacious and they were like that's great 
Yeah, salacious. It came out of that's where it came from. And then they and then they went on and said, okay, what's his last name? And somebody came up with Crumb. And they said, Salacious Crumb. That's how he got his name. Until then, he didn't have a name the whole time they were shooting. And so, Tim Rose was the puppeteer. Let's see how crumb crummy that was. Yeah. See, how crummy that was. You notice how it always reverts back to they were drinking and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think most puppeteers do? We have to drink something. They gotta do something. Now I, I can't remember if he had a speaking voice or not, but were you asked back for Mandalorian? Because they brought that creature back. That no, was no. Gracious, they brought back. No, 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 that no, was, no I, that I was, know it wasn't salacious, but that, you know, I figured that same creature might have a similar sounding voice. Yeah, but no, they didn't. They just were well, whoever they had around at the time. I, I don't even know. Did, did, even, did they even have a... I know there was one in a cage and one on a spit. Being cooked on a spit. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. And, oh, sorry, and then there was one in a cage, like, watching and obviously terror, being terrorized. So you could have been the one, you know, doing the voice of the one on the spit getting cooked. I could, but I don't think he was even screaming you at that cook, point. How much of that did you drink? <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Keep drinking. No, but no, no, they didn't. Um, it's definitely. been mentioned. I, it, it has been mentioned you know, you in for stuff. but do a part happened. without him, didn't you? <laughs> what? <Is> that? <laughs> You'll really pee on her. <laughs> <laughs> on that wall we just built so with all these iconic characters that that you've uh you've created uh the voices of uh what's been one that really sticks in the memory that is i know you can't pick a favorite because they're they're all awesome but no pick a favorite i can pick a favorite <laughs> yeah, okay. not it. yeah. No salacious it. salacious yeah because and that's but that's because of where i was at the time and um because at the I was with Lucasfilm at the time, I, I started out as a laborer. I, I moved up from L.A. because I said, "Hey, I'll do anything up there," and they're like, "Well, we're building the ranch, and we need laborers and carpenters." So I ended up with Lucasfilm, and so I was I went to all the you know all the the Christmas party and the you know with all the actors and all and George and everybody, and um, so being a part of the company the greatest company I've ever worked for greatest. I mean, they treated us so good and, um, and the memories, all the memories. So salacious is all, all those years. There was well, about three and a half years, I guess that I was there all full time. And, you know, and then of course seeing screening, uh, star Wars, the rap party, um, with George and Harrison and Mark and everybody going to see it. And then, for the first time ever, hearing my voice and up there on the big screen. I'd heard it in other things, but never on a big screen in a theater. Now, let me tell you, I didn't know when I did the voice, I didn't see the character. He was described to me and I did it. And then that was it. And then I didn't nothing until I went to the screening of the movie. So we're sitting there watching the movie. And all of a sudden, Salacious laughs, and the, and I'm with my lady at the time, and I, I, I it, it shocked me. I didn't expect it, and I pretty loudly I went, "That's me." <laughs> 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 and I always thought about that. I'm like, and then I was I was like, "Oh shit, I can't believe." And then she's like, "That's you? Is that what you did?" And I said, "Yeah, that's me." And she goes, "Oh, that's neat, you know." And and then I always thought after that, I'm like, "Yeah, I I, I could just hear." Harrison in the back going, yeah, and that's me, kid. You know what I mean? Like, it's funny because, like, like we said earlier, Mark can see us, but he has to leave his booth to go to his computer. So we're all, all of us are up here shaking our head, like, wow, he can't. Really? Oh yeah. But before we go too much, further, um, Mark, we so have salacious, a, and I love salacious. I, he's the actually, coolest little creature. We actually have a very special guest sitting. Next I love to his people. look. And, oh. and you know this this uh this guest. friend of yours so uh I do. So I'm I I'm going to ask him to come on but uh you have to do your thing. Ah. 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 Ah.
I, I fully understand after being at the studio for the last couple of months why all these puppets talk funny. That's why. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> I honestly thought you were going to say after having two gummies, I now understand Salacious Crumb, what he says. What he said. <laughs> well, no, I didn't get a chance to have any gummies. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he, so, so what do you, well, if I said, I mean, I'm back and walk some out of the what I just said. Give uh, me back. Give sure, me make sure I, you finish the beer that's on that table. I I just said, give me a hit on that. No. <laughs> no. No, he, he didn't, didn't say that. Give me a hit on Jabba's hookah. Okay. Yes. Um, do, do you remember? I'm going to test your memory, which probably isn't very good. He can't even test his memory. So what, that's we what I mean. <laughs> so the uh, first the first time that I met you was at Rhode Island. Yeah, I forget that. Oh, I forget okay. that. Oh, I know um, that. Rhode Island's a fun show. All right. That was, what, two years ago, I think? Yeah, it's one of those, if you remember it, you weren't there. Okay. Well, you know, we wanted a, um, a picture we signed. <laughs> okay. So we wanted a, I wanted a picture signed. I, I picked the photo, and you grabbed your pen, and you paused because you had no fucking idea what to write on the picture. <laughs> now, I'm going to give you a hint that it was a picture of a gremlin. So gremlin. what did you what did you write on that picture? It was a gremlin. What did I write? For talking with the dead. Oh, mm, probably something about having a toke. No. No. Whoa. You wrote get high and multiply. Get high and multiply. And, and uh, that's do you, good, do you, do you remember I that? I don't. We saw the smile, Mark, and, and, and what you don't want to do is ever sign a thing for him again. <laughs> <laughs> well, next time you and I are together and he shows up, let's go for a drink. <coughs> he drinks oh, my God. I don't read. That's great. Did you come up with that? Yes, and you said you were going to steal it. You were supposed to give me 10%, and I've been waiting for two years for a royalty. <laughs> well, well. And make it another five years, Mark. <laughs> you, Oh, my God. Come on, man. You believe, And when an actor told you he was going to give you 10%, you believed him? <laughs> <laughs> Bill, should I be questioning things? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should. Because it's starting. I tell you right now, when you start acting... I'll give you ten percent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Speaking before we before this gets out of control, folks. <laughs> oh my God. Well, you know what? That's a great one, and and I'm gonna write it down here. I've got it. You know, I've got. <laughs> well, I think it, you, all right. Brett, make sure you write that down because I'm writing it. Hi. Obviously, you have CRS and multiply. I just wrote it down for real. CNN. Well, you have CRS. Obviously. I have my. Uh, CRS. Yeah, I can't remember shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> now when it comes I to I do you, have that. I do have that. I'm easily forgettable. Is that what you're trying to say, Bill? Absolutely. <laughs> One more <laughs> sip and you're all gone. <laughs> Sorry, Leo. <laughs> Hey, it's okay. It's just another day. Watch this. <laughs> All right, before we get too much further into the boxing ring with these guys. What are uh, you drinking uh, over there, Bill? What? What are you drinking? Foster's, and then I have um, some Honey Jack. Um, oh. That's two plugs for people that don't sponsor us yet. Honey no. Jack. <laughs> Honey Jack. That's Honey's four. over here. Jack's over there. <laughs> That's four now. <laughs> we know. Yes, sir. Honey Jack sounds like a bad skin so flick. Go to commercial. <laughs> I like a bad skin flick. Uh, okay, I want to thank everybody for joining us this fine evening. And yes. an amazing guest. Actually, multiple guests because, you know, ben, uh, we don't get to see Bill that often. Uh, and we love having him on along with Mark. Uh, but, you know, with the show on the network that I run, you know, we do have a sponsor, Deadly Grounds Coffee. They're in Connecticut. Little mom and pop shop. Make the absolute best coffee you'll ever have. But you know what? Here's a zombie talking about coffee. Everyone thinks because you're a zombie, you don't know good coffee. Well, they're wrong. 
there's only one brew that gets my seal of approval. Deadly Grounds coffee is my guilty pleasure. The aroma is so intoxicating. It brings all of my neighbors out of the woodwork. Deadly Grounds coffee. Coffee to die for and zombie approved. It's good to get a little deadly. Use the front door! Oh, they're so disgusting. And you can head on over to getdeadly.com for more information. There's information in the show notes as well. And, uh, well, well, and before, before you go any further, what else is in the show notes? Uh, all the information from Mark. Yeah, you've talked yeah. 30 minutes. Yeah. Ago, you didn't even mention it once. What's in that? The, 30 minutes. Didn't even mention it once. They're up above, down below. <coughs> oh. Are there any show notes for us? Do we get show notes? No. But up above, down below. Mark, if Mark, if you want to jump out and look at your computer real quick, we're gonna actually run the teaser. Okay. For issue one that we've been working on here at uh, Diamond Production Studios with this amazing master over here. I'm gonna jump out, right? Thank now. you. Okay. Okay, we'll give you a second to get over there while we do that. Uh Ben, would you like to introduce the trailer? No, it's not a fucking trailer, it's a teaser. <laughs> well, tease them, will you? We are. Well, go ahead. Okay, so here's just the tip. Okay, and I just want to say the title of the video you sent me is Trailer. <laughs> so. Yeah. No one will Parker trailer. He won't know what that is either. This is the teaser. We don't have the official trailer yet. It's coming. Here we go. What the fuck are we going to do now? Get high. More fun that way. <laughs> I, love it. I love it. I love it. That was fun. That was fun. Pass me the if bar. You, you gotta be careful with that bar. If you need zombie boys for that, I know a guy that'll do it for pizza. Oh yeah, at least forty of them. And beer. <laughs> on it, yeah, and beer. And beer. yeah. We know. Well, you guys got to. We got to get Mark out here. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we got to get Mark out here. Well, yeah. Well, then we need some really big sponsors. Why? He'll take a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> might, uh, might take a few months to get here. Take a balloon. Yeah. yeah. Ride Speaking the trade winds. Just like the Wizard of Oz, I'll take a balloon. You know that. Are pretty- you done yet? What? No. Done yet? This is why nope. filming takes so long with these two. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else's lines, and they're the only two in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have lines. That was fun. I didn't know we had lines. Are there lines? No, apparently there are none with you. <laughs> no. It's Nobody a fine line. Yeah, and you're not on it. <laughs> No, I'm at the end of the line. Hopefully. <laughs> Mark, line and come in any time. Pay no attention to the... Well, you're behind the curtain, so we can't... The man go. behind... Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now then. Back where I come from, there are many great men who do many good deeds. <laughs> yes. And he's Those men are known as good deed doers. <laughs> yes. Who's the um, the furry little white monkey looking dude that's in your picture? That's Teak. Uh, Teak. Teak. From um, the Ewoks Battle for Endor TV special. Yep. Which I was really pleased when I saw that the Ewoks Battle for Endor made the top 10 list of the worst of the Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> the Star Wars universe. I was like, 
I made a top 10 worst list. <laughs> this is beautiful. Well, if you want to make it again, come out here to this movie. Oh, yeah, you'll hit yeah. number one. I can get on another top 10 worst? No, no, you'll be at the number one. <laughs> number one? Yeah. You'll be number one. You should really yeah, be. What, yeah, that. it said the top 10 worst of the expanded Star Wars universe or something. Yep. Was uh, was the two uh, holiday specials uh, on yes. number one and two? Yes. That was on the list too. Oh, oh my god, that second holiday special was just. <coughs> I'm uh, obviously you guys didn't watch it, the Lego one. Uh huh. Lego Legos. Yeah, so they, that was they, new. Brand new. They just made a Leo, new holiday special. Leo, you're really showing the dork. I'm sorry. Where was? Where did it? <laughs> where did it show? Oh, uh, Disney Plus, of course, because they want to get more people. Oh, over. that's right. I thought maybe somebody projected on the side of their house with one of those projectors, like they're doing now. Well, <laughs> speaking of other voices you've done, you actually did a voice uh, recently for uh, a friend of ours. You have so, friends? Uh, well, <laughs> we thought we did. But okay. uh, they pay me to be here. No, he didn't voice. <laughs> I don't even know him voicing you. <laughs> um, but you did a, a voice in a movie called Head Cheese. Oh my God! Yes, I did. And uh, for Robbie Lopez. Yes. Um, and Jeff and I actually had cameo appearances in his first two movies, uh, Texas Death Trippin. Okay. Which were edited okay. out. Which. Oh no, they, well, they you, were edited in because he needed something with content. <laughs> <laughs> take that to the bank, Bill. Take that to the bank. I'll take something in bank, but not your content. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen the movie. I, I don't I haven't seen it. I saw the little parts that I was a part of. I did when I did it to picture from here. Right. Um right. you were the but, troll, right? I believe, right? Yeah. Yes. The voice of the troll. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, you haven't yeah. seen the troll? I saw him. You did see the troll. Okay. That was a while ago. I don't remember what I did for it. I, 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 was it did you see it? No. I, I, th I think it was more um, uh, like moaning and grunting and stuff like that. That, <laughs> well, that would be me. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> I do a lot of moaning and grunting. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Ask anybody that knows me. Ask Bill. <laughs> Bill says you squeak a lot. I squeak too. <laughs> so uh, I was listening to your your demo reel, and I know uh, a lot of the company names were taken out. Um, but do you also do the uh, the Home Depot commercials? I did for Canada. Okay. Oh, I'm not the one that was doing the big the whole bunch that were here. Okay. Yeah, uh, Canada. I was doing Home Depot. Did you know they have Canada, uh, Home Depot in Canada. What do they call them in Canada? Home Depot. Oh, Home no. Depot, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> you think they call them? Yeah, Canada they likes me. Well, well I didn't know if they were like Home Depot. No, Canada likes me. It's really strange. I end up doing a lot. I don't know. I really like Canada. The people from Canada are super nice people. Yeah. They're just so nice. Overly, actually, and um, I. I did uh, that. I did several of those for Canada. You don't, uh, I don't even remember. See, there again, I just, yeah. that was wild. But, uh, so I, I would, did that. Uh, I, I would, did that when, when we did, when the Olympics were in Canada, the, uh, the, uh, I did a lot of Olympics stuff and a bunch of commercials for the Olympics when we, that was in Canada. Um, and then I was the voice of Mike's Hard Lemonade for the Vancouver Canucks. And yeah, and then some others. Uh, last year, uh, because of the pandemic, uh, the sporting things that I was doing, we didn't do this past year. But uh, the Wildcats, the Moncton. I do the Moncton Wildcats. And I'm a hockey guy, which is cool. It's funny how those things work. I played ice hockey as a kid. Well, then so, you know my... Whole situation here, being a hockey guy, I'm working with two putts. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> two you pucks. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You hockey said puck. putts. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I guess you ain't that ham yet. You said pucks. <laughs> <laughs> Shot on goal. Go on. Get the puck out of here. Get the puck out. Took you a while to pick that out. one up. 
right? Right. No, I've been using that one for years. Have you? Yes. Oh, good. He has no idea where he is. Doesn't no. He? No, I didn't think that. Um, um, right. so you noticed that the red <laughs> solo yeah. cup's gone, and now yeah. it's the backside yeah. of a model, right? Okay. <laughs> just, just so you know, Mark, he, he's on – He's down in the studio. I'm actually on set in my yes. office, and he's on he's on one of our sets. And well, you've been here, Mark. Yeah, he's in the uh, set from the, the series. Yes, the horror stuff. Yep, yep. He's on one of my well, favorite stuff. Horror. Yeah, no, oh, no, no. You no. guys see those? I'm on one of the 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 uh, talking with dead sets. You're thinking of the monster TV sets, Mark. Yeah, I was something of the monster over there. Yeah, of course. I was going to set up over the there, monster but I didn't think TV Bill would approve sets. of it. Yes. Well, he he actually was going to set up on Monster TV, but Uncle, Han, uh, Uncle, Uncle Henry, Henry said, "Get the hell out of here." Oh, Mark, yeah. Mark's been here. He knows. Yeah. Uncle Henry said, "Get no, no, no." It's bad enough. Um, I yes. the go in the ziffits. So you uh, know, Mark, he's like way on the other side of the complex, which is where we'll keep him. Keep him there. Yeah. It's safer that way. It is. Well, he's just going to. Go <laughs> Have you guys there. seen the? You know what I love the the he did uh, Bill did sculptings of like. Wolfman and did you have Wolfman? My, I'm trying to yep. remember which ones. The, and their cat, they're made in. And I want some of those. You did them out of concrete, right? They're out of concrete, yes. Yeah, so Cement, like, concrete. Yeah. yeah. And I've been wanting to say for years, I would really love. Did you do Frank? Was Frankenstein? Yes, he did a show a picture of him up on my uh, ceiling up there. That's stuffy. I yeah, can't yeah. really zoom in, but if you look up in the windows, yeah, there you go. That that's what Mark's talking about. Are the concrete ones up there? Yeah, those are concrete. Yeah, those, yeah, those are concrete. about sixty pounds a piece. Those. Yes, uh, they are. I know they're heavy. Yeah. And you actually had them sitting on your out on your back deck. Yes. When Felix yes. was there, and I, Felix yeah. and I were out back, and you were inside, and I'm like, man, I got to tell him, I want, I, I want to know, I want those. You, do you still have the molds? I think he wants. We them. can get them. We can get them. Mark, be very careful what you ask for, especially concrete, because it'll be shoes for the river out there. I was just going to say, being this close to the Hudson, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> we'll definitely get right. one of those. We do have concrete floaters, but he has to try them on first. <laughs> <laughs> he did. The bunny slippers. The bunny slippers. <laughs> yeah. You're right. You're awfully close to the Hudson to be we talking about it, concrete. We threw them in the Hudson for uh, one of the pieces. So, so the bunny slippers got a uh, cement paint job? So wait a minute. Let's be honest here. I never thought so. If I just get some divers to go down, they could get me some of those that are attached to who? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're, we're, probably, we're, us pretty we're close to the bridges. Whoever floats down from any of these bridges here about to show up on our shore. Yes. Yeah. Well, not if they got a concrete Frankenstein's monster attached to their leg. They don't. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a fucking anchor. <laughs> Yeah, and now you've met the two anchors I work with. Yes. <laughs> and you're you're an anchor today. I didn't know you were going to be Ed McMahon today. I well, didn't know I, that. I tried to because I didn't want to leave you. We, we've been friends for a long time, Mark. I don't want to leave you alone with the uh, Misfit Toys. I appreciate that. <laughs> misfit <welcome>. Toys. <laughs> misfit. Wow. Nobody wants a Charlie in the box. No one does. <laughs> Why do we go to your Charlie? <laughs> Oh my God! I just want to be in a box. <laughs> <laughs> we just want you in a box <laughs> and chip away. Oh, <clears throat> not the kind of box I was referring to, Bill. You're I showing, be quiet. You're showing your age. <laughs> well, we could put in. There's plenty of boxes down. Yeah, we, we got a couple of chains. We got a couple of coffins down here. We got right? slide them in, wrap them in some chain, and. Frankenstein, yeah, on one else. and then we just send them out for chain mail. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So, <laughs> I didn't know you could order chain by mail. This, okay, fine. <laughs> this show's going downhill because they're talking so much. Yeah. Let's with some more great stuff. <laughs> <They're talking. laughs> the only thing is going to save these two. What? Leo has to put up with this all the time. I just wanted to kind of. Straighten out the flow here. So Leo said, "Really, another night with them? Another night?" Oh, I, I, I graci uh, graciously accept your help, Bill. Oh yeah, well, Leo, we, what's in the cup? Just so you uh, know, Leo, 
Rough. There's, there's <laughs> lots of couches here. And we kind of tell everybody a little therapy goes a long way because we need it when they walk in the door. <laughs> yeah. Well, if it's Remember, so bad. I have all money and I bring Jack over and we need it. So why do you invite us down here so often? Um, it's like throwing darts. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's trying to get the filming done so he can get rid of us. Wait, wait, wait a second. Throwing darts uh, is it lawn darts? It may be lawn lawn darts. Okay. They won't sell those anymore. No, yeah. no. We never stabbed anybody with them. I don't. I don't understand. Well, I don't know. I mean, I saw I saw the one when they when they redid those the first time. They put like big round weights on them so you couldn't get stabbed. Those suck. Right. Well, okay. So instead of, instead of stabbing somebody with it, now you've got a five-pound weight. You're just going to hit him in the head? Hit him in the head. Right. That I was, mean, the tip was rounded, you know. And the cool thing was watching it stick into the ground or your friend's back. Yeah. But, the, but the cool <laughs> thing was, was watching it stick into the ground. I so say wait. bring those long darts back so I can test them out on these two. Yeah, you know, I think well, we need lawn darts brought back, and we need diving boards put back in the swimming pool, and we could thin the herd real quick. Well, I think th I think they got rid of the points on lawn darts when they started putting in putting in sprinkler systems. Oh, because they get tired of repairing them. Yes, because we were going into their pipes with our long dart. Come on, Bill, catch up. You're quicker than that. Oh, I'm listening. I'm just trying to see. I'm Right now, I'm looking up for how many doctors I can bring in this room to take you out. <laughs> oh, you only um, need one. So, so, so Mark, uh, let's... So, so, my thing, so my thing on long darts, though, yeah. because <laughs> that, that goes right to the... It's, it's bothered me for years that, uh, that they took the diving boards out of swimming pools Right. And I was going to write a whole book about that was the when when America quit having fun. When they when they started taking everything that might hurt you. Does that sound crazy? I don't know. But well, I, mean, I know that no, it was because so some here. kid got some here. kid got hurt on a diving board. But it's like, yeah, when you when you see what it is, you pretty much know if you fuck up on that thing, you might get hurt and it's going to be your own fault. So, and you know, the diving board made the pool. I mean, come on, man. That's how we, that's how we showed off for the girls. That's why everybody was at the pool in those days. You even see kids at a public pool anymore, hardly. There's, there's no diving board. All right, I'm done. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I went out, board. Mark, it's... just so you know, I went out on the edge of the board with you on that. <laughs> Did you go out on the edge? <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> I was and hoping. it was fun, and it was fun. Well, I, I agree with you, Mark. A lot of that stuff was learning experiences, like lawn darts. You learn to run away when pointy things are coming down, and That's you know, right. diving boards. You know, like the public pool. I remember when I was young, thinking, uh, you know, I'm going to climb to the tallest diving board, which is like 20 feet high. Yeah. And you get up there, and then you you're scared shitless. You want to turn around, but you can't because the the ladder is full of people. And that's right. You know, you got to go for it. And you got to go for it. Well, I'm all. I'm and on it was. Bring back diving boards, lawn darts, and I want those spiked metal pedals on the bicycles back. Oh yeah. Those were good. Yeah, those were great. Man, they that can really, that can really do a number on do a number on your shins if your foot slipped off. But the idea was your foot wouldn't slip off with those on there. Right. I think some sadistic guy invented that pedal. That really wasn't necessary. I mean, why would they eliminate diving boards? You can still get duct tape and razor blades. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> well, there's a yeah. solution for me. <laughs> Back in yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now, you but do they still allow the slides? They get rid of the diving board. Do they still allow the slides? Well, because you know, those slides, if you didn't wet that first, you were leaving butt skin on the top. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Those I don't know. Are more dangerous than the diving board. You need a shot. <laughs> kind of. I mean, you could fall off the edge of the di of the of the of the of the, 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 the slide. I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. You could fall off the top of it. You know. But, and your swimming suit. 
go back to something creative like your career. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, well, you, uh, yeah, it worked. You, you, like you well, no, you, you the use the term creative the loosely. What's that? I said his career. It's kind you of like can't a slide. The other two that <laughs> right? You start My at the top has and now you're like, down yeah, at the it bottom. Is. It is. It's like a roller coaster. See? Any any career in, in up this. Up and down. Business. Up and down. Yeah, up mine's down. going downhill with these two. <laughs> yep. Hang on, baby. I that so, big dipper right so, now. <laughs> we're gonna here comes the here, here comes the plunge. And don't even it put your scary. hands in the air on this one because it will throw you out. <laughs> the ferret just joy did. I saw that. How are you doing out there, Ferret? <laughs> I know the rest of the audience, Mark, doesn't know, but we've had the... You've met the Ferret. I've met the Ferret. Yes, you have. Just say yes. Yes. See? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, so Mark, let's let's rewind. I know we talked about... Uh, <laughs> Salish, um, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to bring us back on... on, you guys, on did, did you, do you get the idea I don't really like to talk about work? <laughs> oh, I know. I know. Okay. But right now, I'm with these two guys working, and I don't want to talk about either one of them. So let's go. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, so, so Gremlins, and you're available for both of them. Uh, did, going into it, did you know it was going to be such a success as, as it was? <laughs> well, I mean, you knew that it was a Spielberg movie. And at that time, it was pretty... <laughs> What the fuck just happened? I uh, they're, they're, they're laughing about something that popped well, screen. You haven't seen the screen, but the parrot just talked to us. The parrot did? That's or the fairy? The 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 <laughs> I did a parrot this year for a video game. Uh, hello. Ah, hello. No, no, that's a parrot. You I know, but you've got a ferret. We have a ferret. Can you do I understand a with an F. F. Yes. A, what video right. game was the parrot in? I don't remember. Oh. It was a, Leo probably does. What is it, Leo? I it was know. a commercial. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, it was okay. Clash of Clans. It was. I think it was Clash of Clans. Oh, okay. Or it was a commercial for that. It's online somewhere. Yeah. Uh, go look, find it. I don't know. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be here to kill it. <laughs> um, I don't know why did I tell you I did a parrot this year. Uh, no, that was the end of last year. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you I didn't want, do the parrot. Yeah, I was gonna I say, you get a, parrot. will you please stop doing animals? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I've, Your whole yeah. career has been animals. It I has. I with them now. Yeah. And a ferret. Uh, so what'd you ask? Oh, the yeah. Did Come you on. know? Did we know? I mean, like I said, I knew that it was a Spielberg movie. So I figured this is probably going to be a big movie. And it did well. Gremlins 1. Right. And then Gremlins 2 didn't do as well as Gremlins 1. We got more silly with it and more campy. And um, it did all right, but it didn't Keep going, do Going, you're describing this film. It, did, it didn't do what Gremlins did. Uh, but it was, it was more fun for me, actually, because... The the gremlins like Daffy and Lenny and George, I did them as mug. I I voiced them as Mugwise and Gremlins, and they had you know personality, more personality, whereas the others were more gremliny. <laughs> more gremliny. More gremliny. That's a California thing. Isn't there you it? go. Yeah. It's it's gremliny. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I mean, probably you probably can't say anything due to like NDA or anything, but I'll ask anyway. Have you been approached for Gremlins three? No, I can say that uh, because nobody has. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've talked about this, right, Mark? <laughs> well, because Chris Columbus has written a Gremlins three. Who wrote? Chris, of course, wrote the first uh, movie, and might have been the first thing he really ever did. But but, uh, Gr but he has written a three. And he really wants to do it. And I hear it's darker than the first one. And he also said in an interview that I read that if it gets done, he wants to bring back as many of the original people as he can get. Nice. So that would be good. But Warner Brothers just keeps saying, oh, we really like it. And we really like the script and we're going to do it. But then they never do anything. So I don't know. They're doing that uh, animated thing right now. 
Yeah, I saw that. The uh, Mugwai secrets of the mug secrets of yeah, the Mugwai. Yeah, it's yesterday. probably you know they're testing the waters probably. Yes, yeah, it's, not, it's animated. Uh, I think it's for H maybe HBO special. Yeah, yeah it's like an HBO special. I saw something yesterday where they supposedly um, have uh, B D Wong. Yes, B D Wong. So this yeah. is going to be adult too. It. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. He didn't say he didn't say B G Wong. He said B D. <laughs> oh, okay. Or I should have said B J. I don't even know what job starts with a G or a J. I'm gonna go if with Jack D. If, 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 if I'm not if I'm not reading it off a script, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> well, neither does he. So. Uh... <laughs> but I like I like the the old. You do not understand. You know who that, you know, he was Mr. Wing in, in Gremlins. You know he was Key Luke. And if you're old enough, and you, you are, Bill, to know that Key Luke was number one son for Charlie Chan on yeah. the black and white Charlie Chan movies. Yeah. Did you know that, Bill? Yes, and Boris Karloff played some of those Charlie Chan movies. Yes, he was in some of those Charlie Chan movies. Those were great. Those were great movies. I love those. At least there were some great movies made. Then. That yeah, was a Sunday are. Sunday <laughs> thing in St. Louis. On Channel 11. KPLR. Yep. Look at Jeff's and face. Jeff's yep. face. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, those are good rainy day <laughs> movies. Dental floss right now. Yeah. You can string them down with dental floss. <laughs> a friend of mine, he say, oh, we're going to watch the Saint movies. And right, I'm like, yep. what, what do you mean the Saint movies? He said, because if you watch that movie... Look at the crowd. All the people in the background, they're all dead by now. They're all saints. So we started calling those the saint movies because it was all the dead people that are <laughs> still in movies. Someday I'll be in a saint long movie. now. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> if you suddenly see little halos come up, it's definitely Ding. coming up by their horns. I think, yeah. I think you're more likely we won't see a halo, Bill. No, I don't think so. There'll be a little, yeah. <laughs> little uh, John McNally says a friend of mine is uh, sick. We're going to watch movies. I like uh, what, 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 what? Uh, How many rum and coke? Yeah, 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 I know. I can't. Far too long. <laughs> My <laughs> concentration is dead. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we're not going to finish McNally's comment. No, I'll, I'll bring it up for you. Why not? It is. It's just a chalk line. Are people commenting while we're doing this? Oh yeah. yes, they are. Are we pissing them off? What is? What are they saying? Uh, Let's try like it. It doesn't work. That's yeah. the point. Now well, we've got like a ferret on. <laughs> we've got you know the floor, floor manager. Floor manager is just nothing but a chalk line now. Uh, um, Diane says, "Please <laughs> send my best to Mark." Huh? How is that? Uh, Diane says, "Please send my best to Mark." We do. Hi, Diane. Well. I send my oh, best okay. back. Okay. Is that? I'm just wondering what Diane's best is. <laughs> I don't know. Is is that <laughs> Diane? All right. That screen could go blank and put Mark back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that Diane from like uh, San Francisco area? Uh, Diane uh, McClure Repito. Yes. Tell her I said hi. Oh, she's a friend of yours. Yeah. Oh. He is a friend. Yeah, he has friends. Unlike has, I yeah. have friends. Unlike oh, okay. some people. I, okay. Unlike you two, I'm his friend. It's you guys that we don't want to. We want to defriend, just like on Facebook. That's un, <laughs> that, that would be unfriend. You don't right. be friends. You unfriend. Going, dude. You unfriend. Actually, going. that would be block. <laughs> <laughs> head. Blockhead. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, see what you started, Mark. <laughs> was that? I said, see what you started. I didn't start this. You sure? I walked in. It was going on. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah, just yep. remember, oh, yeah, the only reason he's on with you two is because of me, and I'm so sorry I ever did it to my dear friend. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't know how you talked me into this, Bill. I don't know either. I think it was pizza and beer. It's just that we haven't seen each other in a while. So I figured I was hoping to see it, but you were the smart one. You put up the curtain. I put up the curtain. Of course I did. I live. I, 
The great and powerful Oz has spoken. No, I, you know, I don't, <laughs> so everybody should know, I don't have a camera hooked up to my computer. And I, because I'm a voice guy, and, and when I do sessions and then they direct me over Skype, but you don't need to see me. No, I don't need to see these two either, but uh, <laughs> that conversation on our own phone. <laughs> see? See? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, so I apologize to the people that are watching this right now that I'm, but. Well, you're not missing anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. <laughs> Obviously, they're not either. No. <laughs> They actually get to hear you, and, and Leo did find a very nice picture of you with your friends. That was a nice picture. I like that. That was a decent picture. That was a good picture. Now, if we could just put a deep friend smiley face on that frame over there, we'd be all right. Right? Well, Mark did say he had friends. I just didn't know they were all imaginary voices in his head. I wish you were imaginary. <laughs> That's... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I'd be waking up by now. <laughs> yeah, really, out of your nightmare. I know. Welcome to my world. God, yeah, no wonder you do no wonder you do horror. You you don't have a choice. No, I don't have a choice. And it's scary every time you see it in double. Right? <laughs> but we're not horror. Oh, you have no idea. You are. <laughs> the token dead? Uh, the trailer I just saw didn't look like something that, you know. No, wait a minute. We, that we're going to see on the Disney like Channel. We're looking at the two jokes. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't hear you. Go ahead. Repeat it. I said, there is horror, but you're looking at the jokes, two of them. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So what's, um, what's really scary about what we're doing? And I'm doing it with you. See? <laughs> That's exactly what it is. That's the scary part, right that there. That is. <laughs> <clears throat> um, so, so today, I did a, a, another um, a commercial for Lenny Shoe as Johnny Cash. Did you put a lot of in that shoe? Huh? Lenny Shoe. Did it have any soul to it? They're from. It had a lot of soul because it's Johnny Cash. And don't you know? I knew what he was doing. I wasn't. Yeah, but he didn't hear you. He heard. You know, this is a better screen. It had a lot of soul. And so I got to sing. You know the song, I've Been Everywhere. I got to sing part of that and then say what needed to be said. And that'll be out soon, I guess. It's nice. company out of Vermont. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so Lenny Shu. Yeah, that's near y'all. Um, so it sounds like you, you really had fun with this uh, this job. Would you like to recite some of uh, your no. work for today? No. No. Uh, I might get in trouble. Okay. Yeah, see? I've hiked everywhere, man. I've got It's on my stand right here. Across <laughs> the mountains. I'm not going to do it as good. You know, I'm not going to put everything into it. All right? You know, I'm, well, I've hiked everywhere, man. Across the mountains, green and up and down the long trail. Never do my feet fail. Lenny's exclusive darn tough hiking socks. Five dollars from every pair sold goes directly to the Green Mountain Club to protect Vermont's mountains and trails. Oh, you said I hiked everywhere, man. I've hiked everywhere. I thought you said I fucked everywhere, man. No, you can't, no, you can't go there, dude. <laughs> you can't go there. Did you? Are we on a... Go there. Are we on a delay? Are you going to beep that? I wish we were on a delay, and just delaying him would be a good thing. <laughs> it would. Oh, my God. That's what I thought you said. No, don't think. <laughs> oh, man, I better go in and check what we did today. Maybe I did. <laughs> no, no, no. You did it just fine. It's uh, Jeff is on, is on his own delay. <laughs> he, he hears what he wants to hear. <laughs> he hears what he wants to hear. Let's do it this way. Next, I can't time comment on that. I'm, him on a delay, the show will be over by the time he shows up. There you go. Well, that's not fair. Uh, Paul in the chat so room. So I probably just lost that gig. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let so, me know. I'll make it up to you. So, so Paul in the chat room has a question for you, Mark. 
Yeah. Oh, good. And uh, actually, we'll ask uh, Joanna's first. Uh, as a child of the 80s, what famous voices have you created? Where, where has she been? Well, she's a child of the 80s. She knows. She, uh, the, I create, I mean, I came up with Salacious Crumb and the Gremlins, um, like Ewok stuff. Um, my God. Uh, Darkwing Duck, back in those days, I was Professor Moliarty and Professor Moliarty's Hench Moles. Um, I was on Bonkers. I did a train engineer that sounded like uh, Slim Pickens. <coughs> um, yeah, that's where I am with these two. Slim, Slim Pickens. Pickens. That's no, right. no, you're a drain engineer. Oh, you just close your ears. <laughs> Uh, and Lady what Jesus, in the uh, wide, wide world of sports is it going on here? <laughs> uh, so we'll get back to Paul's. And does anybody? Uh, yes, yes. So um, those guys I've created, and then over the years I've been a lot of. I mean, I usually play the dark characters. I mean, I don't thousands because it's been a lot of years. So one time I was trying to figure out how many things I've done, and I was like, well. I do at least a hundred a year, and in almost forty years, I mean, I've done over four thousand projects. So, go ahead, Lou. Because and then my own voice. Um, to who was the, who was asking the question again? Uh, well, uh, Paul is now asking. Uh, I oh, have Paul. to ask Mark. Are you doing anything for any upcoming Star Wars projects? Uh, that. Well. Well, I can't talk about some things. Maybe. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yes. You'll you'll Maybe. have to wait and see. We'll let you know, I, Paul, when we find out. I may I may. Maybe means no if you've ever dated a woman. <laughs> okay, well, I'm Matt, a guy. Go ahead, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know this. Yeah. Uh, but I'm I'm a guy. And so maybe means maybe. Oh, my kids used to say if I said I'll think about it, that meant no. Oh, if right. you think about it. Okay, let me think about it. So Bill's God, been saying that a lot lately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's a pretty good possibility. Yeah. Well, I, I do hope you have some uh, more upcoming projects with uh, with the mouse and uh, who now owns Star Wars. And they definitely yeah. have a lot of Star Wars projects in the uh, in the works. There's a punk. Can we say shitload on this show? Oh, yeah. Fuck a, yeah. There's have you a, just met these guys? Yeah. yeah you have. There is a load of stuff coming. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think uh, they're releasing a new episode of something every Friday for the entire year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's great. I've never an episode of something. I've never yeah, heard so, of something. So, no, no. So, like, they're doing WandaVision now. And then after right. WandaVision, they go right into um, uh, the new Captain America one. And then they go into another series after that. So, it's like constant series every single Friday until the end of the year. Oh, oh. So, wow. all right, so it's not a show called something that they're releasing new every time. There is something new coming by the mouse every Friday from what I've seen. Uh, okay. I, 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 I didn't know if it was a show called something. That's all. This is what happens when you leave the vault for the commentary. <laughs> <laughs> isn't, isn't he something? Mm. I wish not. <laughs> the only thing that That's amazing. Yeah. Actually, the, amount, the amount of wow. It's, it's over. Uh, let's be honest. For me, it's overwhelming. It's too much. It's too much. I'm just going to say it. And now there goes any more work coming, too, from them. But I don't know. I'm old enough to say what I think. <laughs> I just think it's almost over. They're going to they're gonna make people start throwing up. So, so again, you haven't well, met us. I you that that'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> you did just watch the teaser, right? I apologize. Everybody that wants one every week or, or like a new movie every six months and Okay, I, I really like I like the I like suspense. I'm a Hitchcock guy, so I like suspense, and I like to know I like to have to wait a little while, you know, and let it build, and you know, you know, like good sex. 
Well, yeah. You, you could go there, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> he, he got a I mean, head on that one. <laughs> How's that going for you? As I long as, as, <laughs> as long as there's a happy ending. I I apologize <laughs> for we should play Hollywood Squares and put a big X on that one right there. We should. Oh, I love Hollywood we Squares. Should. What a great yes, show. Because then you can go. <clears throat> yes. Keep that up a little higher. A little higher. Yeah. Is that good? Like yeah. that? To the end of the show. Is that right? <laughs> I'm feeling better than me a <laughs> uh, Actually, they're not sitting by Jeff because he had the beans for lunch. No. Oh, a, no. Well, as Mark knows, this, this studio is quite large, large and long. It's and huge. big. And we put him on the other side of the property. He's it's about, huge. He's just got like, what are those, how high are those ceilings? Out, uh, 50 feet? I don't know. Seriously. So the, my, the ceilings of the studio? <laughs> They're yeah, about, the, no, they're about 30. 30. Okay. Well, but I'm, he, I'm, I'm a little guy, so they feel like 400 <laughs> feet away from where we are. You're what? what? He, he's 400 feet away from where we are. Oh, okay. He's Good, a that's thing. enough. That football should be far enough. Away. You've walked it. He's a football field away. Yeah, I <laughs> wanted to be this far away. That way you can't throw shit at me. Well, we're going to put a little bungees over you next time and just electrify them and drop an anvil on your head. <laughs> You'll be there laying next to me. Hey, look at, look at my head. <laughs> Looks like you Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute here. Here. Now I'll read something here. Somebody asked a quick, a friend of mine at that Paul was a friend of mine. That was the Paul that owns the General Lee. Yes. That's the, that's ferret. That's the ferret. And that was Paul. You're yes. right. Hi, Paul. How you doing, man? We call him the ferret. I didn't know that. Does he know? I guess he does now. Yeah, well, he, he knows. We already answered. That's why I said when I was talking about the ferret, we have a ferret that's really Paul. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I hope he's doing well. I hope everybody's doing well with all the craziness going on. Not the general the plague. Smokey and the bandit trigger. Yep, he does. He's got the Smokey and the Bandit car. Yes, not the General Lee, the Smokey and the Bandit. And I apologize. He, I thought he also. I thought that that's General. Right, that's right. He'll be. You know. The I other thought the General Lee was his too. as well. I'm sorry. I thought oh, that. that oh, was also the General Lee. Yeah. Yeah. He is. The well, smoke. okay. Honestly, the Smokey and the Bandit car is a lot cooler. So we're good. That's yeah. cool. I got to sit in it. I got my picture taken in it. That's I right. did too. So man, and, and Burt and, Reynolds and, was there that time. That was one of the last yeah, shows well, Burt we Reynolds yeah, did. Yeah, yeah oh, we, that was uh, Super Mega Fest, right? Yeah, that's yes. all, all of I us. I believe did. was it Super yeah. Mega Fest? I don't. Yeah, know. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah, yeah, and that was the Great. last time they were at that. Um, what was it, Framingham location? That's correct. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's where we were. Mark and I were not. I think we were next to each other. Oh, that's where I met you. No, no. <laughs> you've known Was me it? a lot longer than that. <laughs> Have I? Yes. Wow, time's flying. I mean, I've known Felix for over twenty-five years. I'm sorry. And that was his. <laughs> <laughs> no, Felix? Felix. Felix. Felix knows I love Felix. Yeah, the three of us together is just—that's a show all in itself. It's fun. We do have fun. It's a short trailer, though, isn't it? Only when you're in it. Short trailer. Oh, uh, oh Paul says, well. no, that was the Marlboro location, and that was the first time I met Mark. Didn't even know who he was until the end of the show. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah, so they're framing him now as Marlboro was the old one. Yeah. Okay, so that was the Marlboro. Marlboro. Yeah. 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 That's okay. the one that had the uh, best Western. Okay. Yeah, and it was a Oh, right off of Route 20, though. Yeah, they have best westerns up in the back. Yep, yep. And so people that are people that are listening, I guess people know, but we're talking about a comic con, comic con. That's correct. And that's how we met, and that's how I I, I love the comic cons. Besides, I mean, I love meeting the fans. It's it's you know, it's very makes you feel good to find out people like your characters and things. 
And um, makes you feel but, horrible when you find the, out they don't. But the cool thing is, you know how many people that I worked on movies that are, I shouldn't say worked with, that I was in, that I'm in films with, that I had to go to Comic Cons to meet them? Wow. Yeah. The majority, because I'm a voice actor. So they've already shot everything. We come in and do it to a picture, to a black and white work print that's, you know, not even done really being edited. And, you know, you do it to that and then, oh yeah. And then I go to a comic con and here's these people that I'm in this movie with and it's really great. I get to meet them and it's fun. And we get to go out and have drinks and it's a great, it's a great time. It really is. And steal Paul's car. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> but that's, that's where, that's where, that's where we met. Was there a uh, actor you uh, wanted to meet but haven't had a chance to yet that you were in the same movie with? That I was in the same movie with? Um, yeah. yeah, but he passed away. And because I would love to have met um, Christopher Lee. And he was in Gremlins 2. Right. And he had the best line in Gremlins 2 when we're escaping from his, built, from his uh, laboratory. And he says, you've got to stop them. If one of them should get away and eat a child or two, they'll be the most appalling publicity. That's the best line in the movie. I'm Here sorry. we are. Yeah. I, I met Christopher a long, long time ago. And then I was also, my first thing I did in a comic book um, or a comic con, I was with Peter Cushing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And that was like 76. Right. Famous Dr. Van Helsing. That's our Dracula and, and, yeah. and Van Helsing. Cushing and Lee. Yeah. Famous monster convention. That's where he just finished uh, doing Star Wars. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. 76. Yes, of course. In New York. When was it? 1976. In New York. Wow. In New York. At the famous monster convention, I was there with uh, Cortland. Was there? I was there. I was there with, with uh, Peter. What kind of guy was Peter? Oh, he was great. Was he? Yeah, he really was. And he had that. He was just when he would come into the room, it was just you know like royalty. It, he was yeah. just commanded the room. It was great. It, yeah. You know, um, Lee was. Lee was the same way. Well, yeah. For God, Christopher Lee, quite imposing figure. Yeah. Right. Yeah, he was great, and so that's one. Did you ask me that I wanted to meet that that, that, uh, that yeah, I or haven't even, met? Or how about let's turn the tables? Uh, so, a, so uh, what I you no. Know, so as a kid, I remember as a kid. <laughs> I'm not going to let you talk. As a kid, <laughs> as a kid, I always, you know, they didn't have comic cons when I was a kid. But I always wanted to, I, I love the Three Stooges. And I remember as a kid saying, oh, man, if I could just meet Mo and have him poke me in the eyes, that would be like the greatest thing that could ever happen. So I, so the hey, people Mark, that I want to meet. Yeah. Mark, yeah. I, I met the Three Stooges when I was nine years old. Oh, you're so full of shit. No, I was. It, when they were at the RKO, it was Three Stooges going to Mars. I don't My believe it. My sister worked, it was in Yonkers. She worked at the RKO Theater. Oh and I had to hang out with her, you know, because she was like watching me. And she said, we're going to go see this really neat movie. And I was backstage because they started all their films. They came personally on their tours. I heard about that. Yeah. And I was backstage and Mo and Larry and it was uh, who played Shemp was the later one. Um, yeah, it was uh, Curly Joe was in that Curly one. Joe. And came yeah. and they chatted with me and I never forgot it because they had a police officer with them. And my father was a police officer in Yonkers. So he brought them over and I was sitting wow. backstage. They were the first celebrities I ever met. Wow. The three students. How cool they, is that? So how'd it go? It was, it was, I still remember it. And I, mm -hmm. and then later on I met Mo's son because he doesn't live far from here. Um, What's Mo's, Mo's son's name? I, I believe it's Paul, um, but he doesn't live far from here. Okay. And he did a, so it'd be a Paul thing. Howard. I told him that, that I met his father when I was nine. It was pretty cool. Wow. That is cool. That is really cool. 
I like that. I heard that. Uh, I'm just waiting. <laughs> we're waiting. We're watching you like teeter back and forth. Oh no, I'm good. <laughs> Which way? Uh, hopefully towards the couch, not the stairs. We lost Leo. Where'd he go? Oh, Leo said he'd be right back. Oh, okay. He had yeah. to poop. No, he I, uh, he was doing something. I, I guess I never told you that story, Mark. No, you never did. Yeah. Nope. Nope. So that's the kind of stuff, you know, you know, we all love the things from our childhood. So, you know, I would have loved to meet Charlie Chaplin and. Well, you, you did Alfred voiceovers Hitchcock in the theater, and, didn't you? In what's that? Town, you, at, you did voice work at the Chaplin Studios. Oh, my God. You remember that. Yeah. Yes. And Raleigh. You, that is now you, the Jim Henson Studios because you and I, when I was out there. That's right. Since. Um, I called you because it's and I said this is the audio room that you did your work in, and I sent you a photo. Remember that? Yes, I do. And, and I, I re said, that's right. And I yeah, said, you know, this is the and his it, it, uh, Brian Henson has uh, footprints of Charlie Chaplin um, that he had right outside that door where you because uh, it's a recording studio. It's now Henson is recording studios but it was chaplains at that time yeah everything's there in the uh chaplain studios which is now the jim henson production studios that, that it's a neat studio it's it's a it's you know it's small for today's i mean today would be yeah. like well that's a studio but but back then it was big and um in his days when i worked over there it had been it was called raleigh studios okay, i don't that, know why they changed that was what the 80s that would have been the Nine. 80s, well, late, yeah, late 80s. Yeah, because the Hensons took it over in 93. So I was doing um, voices for um, Santa's Elves and a big, um, a big uh, dark cloud that ruins Christmas. <laughs> and um, that would be me. And um, yeah, I went over and it was for... Um, Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Theater. <laughs> if you can believe that. God. And it has a wooden door on it. So but the you, coolest thing was when I was, they wasn't, I wasn't even, you know, okay, the session, okay. But I'm at Chaplin's studio, man. Mm -hmm. I'm in Charlie Chaplin's freaking studio. Like he's, he's well, right outside, right outside that door are footprints. I'll send you a photo of it. Right outside that door, yeah. it has his feet that's in cement. Mm -hmm. And it's yes. not, it was, it's 1918. Wow. And is, it, is it still, is it still all the brick and Tudor? Did they leave it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was the, that studio, the soundstage where, where you recorded right next door is where, you know, hence is still doing stuff, but that used to be an open studio. There was no roof on it back then because, you know, they needed the sun. The and that's the natural light. That's and right. The had no roof. That's right. Oh, and that's right. Has a whole bunch of bu bungalows, and Chaplin would stay there. Yes. But the footprints are right outside, yeah, and uh, I'll send you a photo of it. Wow. The and old cement he, footprints. I'm going to be able to leave. I'm going to be at the bottom of the Hudson. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're, we're back to the we're back talking. to the cement feet. What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> we circled right back around to that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but we are we we, we got to uh, we got about three or four minutes and we have to close the show out. Uh, Leo, has well, a, it, uh, did did the people that. have anything they wanted to ask? Anything else? I I don't want to you know. Well, there's been a lot of comments and questions, but we've just ignored them. <laughs> <laughs> no, we pulled a few up. We wanted to oh, make Ferret no, boy rude. Day. You know, no, it's actually interesting you because you were in your in the talks of you know everything that you've accomplished over your career, and to the fans and the viewers, that is actually a, you know interesting. Usually, we bring the comments and questions up when we can't really pull it out of somebody that's a guest. So, you okay. know, anytime any of you folks out there go to a convention, you see Mark. He's he's one person you truly truly want to meet. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. These yeah. Two guys you don't want to meet. But just look, <laughs> look, <laughs> yeah, when you go into the celebrity room, look for the shortest line. That'll be Mark. That'll be Mark. <laughs> <laughs> See, and there you go. It's easy to get to me. You, you won't even have to wait. Um, you know, actually, I'm going to be doing a show 
in a uh, place in, in, I think it's Plano, Texas, where I do the voice for mid, what a, uh, mid, a horror place that that's open all year, but it hasn't been because of the what's going on. But yeah, March 5th uh, and March 6th, I'm going to be at Madness Games and Comics. Nice. All I'm doing right. a little, yeah, just doing a little at a, at a comic book game store there in Plano, Dark Hour Haunted House. Is there been, um, a place that they can go to find out where you're going to be? In the show notes up above, down below. You be quiet. I don't, I don't really, no, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I just told them. <laughs> I just told them. Can they remember? I don't know. You, you, no, okay, no. I'll post, I'll post something on my Facebook page. Thank you, Mark. Just I don't will do post that. it, defriend them. No, and no, no. I'll defriend them. Michelle, my wife. <laughs> That's my uh, sadistic side. I always accept a friend so I can defriend them later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? No. Yep, you're on that list. No. <laughs> no. I'm not on that list, right? I don't know right? where that came from. Yes, you no, are. that is not true. Yes. <laughs> no, I've never done that. <laughs> Question yep. from Mark, Vermont. Yep. You want to read that, Jeff? Yeah, sure. go ahead. Uh, this is from uh, Tom Morcom. How many of your voiceovers have you done while talking? <laughs> okay, let's be honest here. I, I, I can't. Um, I, I tried, like not oh, at a session, but on, on my own when I was going to work on something, I thought, I want to see what this will do, and it, may, it makes me think it too hard. I, I, it makes, believe it or not, it makes me think about it too hard. So I don't feel like I give a good performance. And then I, so I, I haven't. Now I will tell you also the truth. I was a radio jock. And back in the 80s and the ni early 90s, um, I was on the air for Dick Clark for the Unistar Radio Network. And it was, uh, it, it was uh, syndicated. And I was on the Adult Contemporary Network. And in those days, when everything is ad lib, see, it's the script that I think is why I'm like, I can't get high and do this. But when, but, but I'm going to tell, let's, let's put out a little secret. Back in the 80s and the, and the 70s, and most radio guys had a pretty good little buzz going when they were on the air. And so in those days, I did. Uh, I would just take a couple tokes before I'd go on the air, kind of relax you a little bit. You know, you're ad libbing everything. And, um, I would I would get a little buzz and I'd smoke a little herb see, in Bill, those days. And there were some guys that would drink really hard on the air, and I was like, I don't see. And we knew, and I'd be like, dude, how can you do that, man? I'd be slurring and shit. I don't know. But yeah, but yeah. So that's a good question. No, I've never, never, never done anything um, a production wise where I was uh, stoned on weed or alcohol or anything. I could I couldn't do it. Wait till you do this show. <laughs> secret, yeah. right. Well, this since this is all ad lib, the higher you are, the better off. That's right. Okay, so I might have had a couple tokes before we started this. <laughs> the only reason you got through it. <laughs> well, speaking of getting through it, <laughs> well, I know I can just relax. I don't have to. This isn't perform. You know, I, I'm not reading anything. Oh, I did just do. I did just do that Lenny Shoe thing, huh? Oh, wow. Okay, I got through it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Leo, do your thing. Leo, okay. do your thing. Well, we're going to wrap things up here. And uh, so, Mark, after we uh, hit stop, we'll, we'll still chat with you for a minute there. Uh, right. I want to thank everybody for watching this fine evening. And you'll find information about Mark in the show notes down below or up above depending on where you're watching or listening to us. And for me, my name is Leo Pond. You can just Google me. You'll find a bunch of stuff. But what you will find is I run a little thing called the Dorkening Podcast Network. We have over 30 shows on a network. And actually, we're going to be doing another live show in about 30 minutes here. Uh, we're going to be dorking out, talking about WandaVision, the Spider-Man news, and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, with that, let's see. So, Mark, where do you like fans interacting with you? At the Comic-Con or Horror Convention. Okay. Yeah. You know. Do you talk much uh, on your Facebook page? Do you chat? No. With you? No. Okay. No. Not much. I don't. No. I'm not really on there much. I. I there again, it overwhelms me. I, I should tell everybody that so they understand. And when I do get on there and 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 I start and then all of a sudden people start hitting me, I get overwhelmed and I just shut it off and walk away. 
So it's nothing against you. It's nothing against you guys. It's just too much all at once. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Midwest boy. I, I, you know, I like to take it slow. Want to talk? As Bill will tell you. Like, yeah, we're always waiting for Mark. <laughs> <laughs> My kids call me Turtle. <laughs> and he lives very sheltered. Uh, yes, very sheltered. Oh, I'm turtle. Oh, but anyway, where are you? Hi, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't ever Google me. You're not gonna like what you but, find. And then I'm not on any of the other. I'm not on uh, the tweeting thing, and I'm not on the whatever all those others are that you guys do now. I, the tweeting, it's okay. the Instagram, and it's all that okay. kind of oh, stuff. Okay, and if they do send me a private message, I will eventually get to it, but it could be weeks. <laughs> <clears throat> it okay. could be weeks. I missed something there. I yeah, that's all right. I've tried to miss something here too, but <laughs> these two showing up, and I got a film shoot to do with the next. Yeah, we so what had about to climb Bill? up on the roof? What? What, Mark? What? What about you? What about me? What? Where do you like to interact with your fans? Well, I get to see them on when. I like them at the cons. I really like seeing them. They get a chance to see all the characters and, you know, and, uh, yeah. you know, it, it's fun. You know, we've done them together for the last number of years. And, you know, I think we're missing them because we miss seeing all the fans we have and all the people there. And then, you know, I discovered these two guys at a convention and I've hated it ever since. <laughs> and right. you know, <laughs> some things do go wrong. Some things you just can't unsee. No, no, that's where, you know, take that mask See, and wear it, put it over your eyes. Well, and like what you said, we you really get to interact at the con. I mean, you know, you're face to face. You can really, and I'll take time. I'll talk as long as you want to talk at the convention. Well, that's what it's all about. That's where you do your best work. That's, yeah. you know, you know, it's crazy. Um, let people see who you are. Look forward to that. Right. Yeah. Right. Until the ones that follow us home, then we have to shoot them. <laughs> yeah, but you gave us your address. That was your fault. And I, that's why I've been <laughs> wanting to shoot myself for years. <laughs> I thought I saw Glenn Close outside my window the other night. No. Well, these two are too close. <laughs> and then, then my rabbit was missing. Um, I <laughs> we have a ferret for you if you want that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got a ferret. They're both rodents. <laughs> Uh, Benjamin. Yeah. Um, Stilltoking.com. You can check us out there. All these great shows. We have a uh, dedicated page for Bill as well. All social media aspects. We're on every, we're on every platform. You know, Google us. You'll find us. Why do but, we have uh, a dedicated page for Bill? What's your problem? Why do we have a dedicated page for Bill? Look at how he just treated us tonight. No, I treated you. It's different. I like him. <laughs> you notice he only likes whoever he's sitting next to that day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeff, what make up? <laughs> oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I knew that's what it would take to do that, we should have done it at the beginning of the show. <laughs> or, or, well, or, it might not be that. Or the chicken's ready. No, we're, no <laughs> chicken. <laughs> oh, the chicken. <laughs> It was good. Oh crap! <laughs> the chicken was good. It turned out good. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I was um, grilling chicken last night. They and they were saying, "Are you going to be able to do this tomorrow?" And I'm like, "I'm grilling chicken right now." And he made a chicken Caesar salad. And I made a chicken Caesar salad. It was really. It came out pretty good. So, to all our veterans and first responders, we want to thank you for doing what you do every day. So clowns like us can come up here and do what we do every day. We love you. We'll see you next week. We're out of here. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Peace out. Bye, everybody.